Hello guys, what's up? So today, finally I came with another video tutorial. So yesterday, my friend asked me how to record video in 60 FPS, and then he asked me again how to render video in 60 FPS, and then he asked me again uh, how to compress video size in 60 FPS. So today, I'm gonna answer all of the questions in this video. First question, how to record video in 60 FPS? Uh, in my case, my recording software is Bandicam, so if you're using Bandicam, just open up your Bandicam and get down to, eh, you go to video tab here, video, video tab here, and then you go to preset, and then you choose ultrafast setting for 60 FPS. This is my option, ultra fast setting for 60 FPS. Or you can change it whatever you want. Eh? One, two, three, you can change it whatever you want. But I choose here ultra fast settings for 60 FPS. I choose this option. I choose this option. Let's see here. This is the format setting. You can change it off your MP4, full size, 60 FPS, as you guys can see here. Motion GPG, quality, you can change it whatever you want on quality. It's up to you. Yeah. And then, that's it. That is the answer for the first question, how to record video in 60 FPS. Uh, the second question, how to render video in 60 FPS. Oh, all right. In my case, uh, my video editing software, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, just follow my instru instruction here right now. Open up your Premiere Pro. Hello guys. So, finally, Premiere Pro, my Premiere Pro is now open. So just open up your project or create a new project if you don't have one. I already have it. I want to open the project and yeah this is it wait I want to cut the video to make it to make it uh, ah cut the video to make it more simple like that Oh, um, just delete this. Now, all you need to do is go to sequence, sequence setting, uh, and then in editing mode, a chance to custom, and then in time best, change to 60 frames per second, or on video frame size, you can change it whatever you want. Uh, in display format, 60 FPS time code. Oh, on this box, you can change it whatever you want, guys, based on your uh, video frame size. And then, yeah, that's all you need to change in the in the sequence setting. And we're gonna render it out. So click Control M to render it out. Control plus M on your keyboard. There you go. Spy versus by test. I've already rendered this video, guys. This is the video. I've already rendered it out. I've already rendered this video out. This is the result. So I'm not gonna render it now. All you need to change is um, wait, wait. What? No, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah, all you need to change is... Yeah, what am I doing? Get down here, get down guys to... Um, where is it? Internet, wait, wait. No, uh, where is it? LT720P, and nah, I this one LT720P 
frame rate is changed to 60 frames per second. It's progressive, square pixel, that's why uh, Provil, you can change it whatever you want, I prefer high. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, in level, uh, you change it to 4.2 in level, right? Square pixel, change it again to 60 frames per second in frame rate. Um, yeah, that's all you need to change, guys. That's all. That's all you need to change in this section. Um, so yeah, you just now you just render the video out and see the result. I'm not gonna do that because I've already rendered this video and close it. <coughs> And we're gonna see the result. I've already rendered the video. Go to the uh, where is that? Where is the video? Premiere Pro, this one. Um, this one, Spy vs. Spy test 60 FPS. So I'm gonna go to properties and detail as you guys can see here my frame rate is 60 frames per second right so we're gonna see the result hello guys what's up so this is the result and 60 yes, today PS frames per second I'm gonna click properties again the size is 121 megabyte. Remember that the size is 121 megabyte. We're gonna compress the video size in 60 FPS. Still in 60 FPS. So, okay, that's right. So, the number three question is how. To compress video size but still in 60 frames per second how to compress uh, I have so many software to to compress the video size like uh, handbrake here and where's where's another one? Oh, here X media recode I really love this this application guys so I'm gonna show you with this application, I'm gonna compress the video size in in Xmedia Record application. If you want to download Xmedia Record application, I put the link in the description below. It's free, by the way, so don't worry. Just close the other one, all right? So this is it, Xmedia Record version 3.2.3.5 version. Uh, what cool from this application uh, is you can change uh, your video format to whatever you want. There are so many options here. There are so many format in this application. Even you can change it to YouTube profile. You can change the profile to YouTube, and then you can change. You can change the. Uh, resolution or quality of your video example you want to uh, you want to change your video quality to 720p and then you choose this one or full health full FD full high definition in 1080p so I'm not recommended you to choose uh, YouTube profile because if you choose this uh, this profile uh, this profile or di and this application will compress your video frames per FPS to 60 to 25 per frames per second. So I'm not recommended you to choose it. You change the uh, profile to custom and change the format to AVI. You, s you will still have 60 frames per second. So just open up your file to compress your video just open open them this one all right and then you go to add query and click encode 
but I'm not gonna do that because I've already encode the video so let's just see the result uh, ah, this one spy versus spy test 60 fps dot avi this is the video after I compress the size is only 38 megabyte the size is only 38 megabyte before I compress the video uh, the size is 100 ah, it's around 100 megabyte go to properties now and click detail as you guys can see here fill in 60 frames per second right so I'm gonna play this play the video hello guys what's up yeah. so this is the video after I compress the video I think you're not losing any quality right you're not losing any quality in your video so don't worry it's it's a great application I very love Xmedia Recode to change the for change the video format or compress or compress my video I'm always use Xmedia Recode it's a very amazing application guys and um, yeah um, uh, the first question is how how to record video in 60 fps you just go to preset and change it to ultra fast setting for 60 fps and then if you want to um, render the video in 60 fps I've already told you using Premiere Pro so yeah and then the final question how to compress video size in 60 fps I've already show you I'm using Xmedia Recode it's very amazing application to compress and change video format for your video so right now guys I'm not end I'm not end this video yet I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube and I'm gonna see uh, my video quality is it uh, my video quality is it around 720p or 1080p guys so right now my video is ready to upload to YouTube I'm gonna see the quality right now uh, I'm gonna pause the video uh, look at the settings and whoa oh so the quality is 1080p alright also oh, guys the quality is 1080p as you guys can see here so oh my god it's very amazing 1080p video uh, 1080p video quality quality with 60 frames per second how amazing was that so guys yeah that's it that's it that is my full tutorial in how to how to record video in 60 fps and then how to render video in 60 fps and then how to compress video size in but still in 60 fps that's it that's my full tutorial so guys i hope you guys uh and enjoy this video i hope you guys understand this tutorial if you think my video was helpful guys why don't you give me a like share this video to help other people and subscribe to my channel guys Thank you so much guys once again for watching this video, uh, as always, see ya.